Hello, students. In this session, we will look at the anterior triangle of the neck. This cadaveric image demonstrates the superficial dissection of the anterior triangle of the neck. The skin and platysma have been incised and reflected, exposing the superficial structures of the triangle. We can see the investing fascia covering the submandibular gland and attached to the inferior border of the mandible. The anterior jugular vein is visible as it pierces the investing cervical fascia, joins with the communicating vein, and then descends beneath the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The posterior boundary of the anterior triangle is formed by the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, while the base lies along the lower border of the mandible. The apex is located at the suprasternal or jugular notch, and the roof of the triangle is formed by the investing fascia, which is clearly seen in this dissection. Additionally, the origins of the sternal and clavicular heads of the sternocleidomastoid are also visible. This dissection clearly highlights the superficial contents and boundaries of the anterior triangle of the neck. This cadaveric image displays the deep structures of the anterior triangle of the neck. The investing fascia has been incised and reflected to reveal the deeper muscles and anatomical boundaries of this region. Let's begin with the boundaries of the anterior triangle. Superiorly, it is limited by the inferior border of the mandible. Laterally, by the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Medially, by the midline of the neck running from the chin to the suprasternal notch. On the left side of the image, we can see the superior belly of the omohyoid and the sternohyoid muscle, including the origin of the sternohyoid from the manubrium and its insertion into the hyoid bone. On the right side, the sternohyoid and the superior belly of the omohyoid have been cut and reflected, exposing the sternothyroid and thyrohyoid muscles underneath. In the submental region, the anterior belly of the digastric muscle, the mylohyoid muscle, and the hyoid bone form the submental triangle, which is also clearly visible here. The submandibular gland is seen just below the inferior border of the mandible on one side. The anterior triangle of the neck is further subdivided into four smaller triangles. The submental, submandibular, digastric, carotid, and muscular triangles. Even though the contents of the anterior triangle are not fully visible in this cadaveric image, it's important to review them because of their exam relevance. The muscles include the thyrohyoid, sternothyroid, and sternohyoid. The organs located here are the thyroid gland, parathyroid glands, larynx, trachea, submandibular gland, and the caudal part of the parotid gland. The arterial supply includes the superior thyroid, the common carotid, external and internal carotid arteries, and the carotid sinus, facial, submental arteries. The venous drainage is provided by the internal jugular, common facial, lingual, superior thyroid, middle thyroid veins. The nerves include the vagus nerve, hypoglossal nerve, clinical relevance. The pulsation of the carotid artery can be felt in a carotid triangle, a subdivision of the anterior triangle. A radiocarotid delay detected here may suggest an atypical coarctation of the aorta.